Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm still not quite sure how to describe how yesterday on FC25 felt with the total rush team to promo being released. But the one thing that I keep coming back to is EA was missing something massive. And you probably noticed what I'm talking about. Now, we need to talk about that, everything that happened yesterday, and of course the market, because prices are going down in the areas that we expected, but up on some that we didn't. And there's a really, really good investing window that is just opened on a specific group of cards that you may have invested in already that you might be able to get more of for a long-term hold. And we have an official SBC card that we would expect to see drop in the game maybe today as well that might be boom straight into your team if you've completed some previous SBCs that she would link to. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, there is a lot to discuss, but one thing you might have missed from yesterday's content is the first Road to the Knockout upgrades. Get ready for more of these next week as we have a lot of Champions League games, Europa League, Conference League games upcoming this week. But we had the first set of Road to the Knockout live upgrades with clubs reaching the first two wins in Women's Champions League. Diani is one of the four cards that was upgraded yesterday, a simple plus one. This will give us some insight into how EA will be doing these plus one upgrades as we get boost. As you can see here, I'm pretty sure every single one of these cards got a simple plus one plus one overall and a simple plus one across every single stat on the card. So that is what there is to look forward to for some of these other road to the knockout games or players that have games this week. That is why some of these cards are going up a lot in the market. So keep that in the back of your mind. Those are going to be cards that could continue to rise into this next week. Now let's get into the content on the game yesterday in the rush objective section. And let's go to the other objectives first to start off with. We do have a new world tour player, Elena. Juve Perez uh, with the Liga F links. Not a bad card inside of here. Danny Prejo last week. Her card this week. Touch of a maybe evolving sense here with an 85 rated card. No playstyle plus. Decent pace. Not a bad card for sure. But if you want to get it done, just takes a few games. Not too crazy. We also have this objective, which there is actually a really cool hack you can do since the group rewards, as you see here, are 1,000 SP. If you're near the end of the season and you want to save this SP for the next season, Easily, just don't complete this objective for the next couple of weeks while this season is still out, and you will be able to claim this 1,000 SP from each of these two objectives in the next season since it should transfer forward into that. It's out for 74 days. That is one thing I did want to mention. Uh, this one, the biggest thing about this is they're giving everybody a nine-game loan, Virgil van Dyke which is going to be showing up in Weekend League 100%. That's very annoying. But uh, I think a Holland as well inside of here, or a Rodri, maybe not a Holland. Maybe I missed that. But there's a gold rare loan. Oh, it's there. Both of them, Holland and Rodri, are a part of the Tex uh, objective in there as well. So I know some of you guys may want that. And again, you're probably going to see that a lot in Weekend League. But that was the two objectives that we had yesterday. And then, of course, we have the Total Rush content. The new Rush mode was dropped as well as the objective. Total Rush Takeover 2, which includes includes some different objectives this week, but very similar packs. Now, the player picks might be a little bit better. There's an 84 plus player pick at the very end, an 83 plus pick as well. You have to score, assist, and win. And of course, there are two new rush modes that will be coming out. The first one's already out. That is Goal Frenzy. The second one's going to be called Pure Strength. And that one is not released yet. And then of course, you do have a specific Goal Frenzy Evolution. Now, with the mode that this is tied to, guys, the rush mode that is called called Goal Frenzy. A lot of people are reporting insane numbers in terms of the rush points that they are getting. This is a screenshot from Twitter. There's actually a possibility of getting 20,000 plus rush points in one of these matches. And I don't believe it's a glitch because there is a goal multiplier. I believe it's 800 SP for every single goal that you scored in this goal frenzy mode. Makes sense, right? It's called goal frenzy. I don't actually think it's a glitch. I know some people are like rushing to get their SP done and or their rush points in so they can take advantage of those high point scoring games. But I actually think that it's not a glitch. It's how that mode was 
meant to be played out and it's just scoring more goals gets you more rush points which of course gets you this sp and gets you the objective done even quicker now one thing i do want to mention as well just like last week if you're trying to get the win score and assist objective pr predominantly the win and the score and sorry the score and the assist remember last week those other objectives were only counting for like gold cards silver cards and evolutions i believe it's the same way with these as well promo versions of players will not count allegedly for these objectives so that's the new rush content that was honestly guys the best thing of yesterday or tied for the best thing now what i want to talk about next is the part of content that went missing yesterday guys usually on a promo friday one of the staples that we look at for every single promo is what evolution did we get is it related to the promo is it not and yesterday this is what we were missing we were missing an evolution this was a huge surprise because we have come to expect evolutions as a major part of promo friday content biggest day of content of the week there's almost always i can't remember a promo friday that didn't have a new evo like in the past year almost in fc24 and now to fc25 there's always an evo a new one on a promo friday we did not have one yesterday which seems a little bit odd of course as well because last week of course we had the combination of the new rush mode the objective and an evolution that was tied to it so we were all thinking oh we're gonna get a goal frenzy evolution there was even a leak right foot police tweets out gold our goal frenzy evolution is set to come to ultimate team soon and we were like oh sweet this is gonna be on friday with this whole new objective and stuff well it's not out so Honestly, I think that's one of the things that made yesterday's content drop not feel as exciting as other content drops. Of course, I forgot to mention the Millet card here for completing those objectives. That card doesn't look too bad. Decent item. 85 rated with those good stats in the mid to low 80s as well. Future evolution possibility. Juve, Lynx, Taram, other players. Maybe just a decent super sub for right now. Uh, that's a decent card. But no evolution is really, really interesting. There's got to be one coming today though, right? Maybe that Gold Frenzy evolution is coming today. I guess that's what we can hope for. But honestly, I was just surprised. And I think that led to a lot of us being like, hmm, this promo Friday of, of yesterday just really didn't hit that crazy in terms of the content that we got now we didn't have leaks for SBCs or at least the SBC player that we got yesterday that was Jorginho Rudder and there is a decent amount of hype for this card guys because of one thing it's the skill moves and the weak foot he is one of the rare five star five star players as a base card on this game he didn't get an upgrade to skill moves weak foot that's what his base card has he has 88 pace 87 dribble he's 88 rated overall he is left footed but again that five star five star center attacking mid striker he's got some decent stats good play styles as well even has trickster play style for the better fake shots people really love that in the game and he's got some decent roles as well false nine shadow striker play maker plus as a center attacking mid i wish his passing would be a little bit better i think you need to boost that if you're going to use this card um as a cam for sure like 82 long pass 88 short pass i mean he does have pinged and incisive so we got to boost up that passing i think if we're going to use him even in a false nine roll, which is where I would like to use this card. But 94 strength, that's kind of a sneaky stat. 87 stamina is pretty good as well. 97 jumping. It's not a bad card. It's not bad. I just think, at least for me, when I look at my team right now, this card wouldn't really be worth my fodder. It's not super emotional to me. Yes, it could be a really good super sub. And if you do have Premier League or French links, he's really easy to get into like basically anybody's team anyway. And it's only 170,000 coins. So it's not a bad SBC. I don't think it's like a OMG, this is an amazing SBC, but it's easy to link. And I think it's a fun one. And five star, five star, that is, that's pretty much the hype of this SBC for this card, to be honest. The links are good, but it's the 5-5 five five that sets him apart from other players. And if you compare him to like, I don't know, the Ryan Cherokee card, who's 5-star, five 5-star five from Road to the Knockouts, this card's 170k. Cherokee's like 320,000 coins. To be fair, this card's maybe not as good as Cherokee, but this is a pretty decent card. So if you want to go ahead and do it, I got nothing against it. I just think for me, uh, it's more worth it to do the Alex Morgan. I had not done her yet, and that was... 
the SBC that I started yesterday on this account because I was like, I got some fodder from the packs that we opened. I'm going to start this SBC because I think longevity wise and hype wise for me, this one matters more. So that's why I went with that SBC, but I totally understand if you want to do rudder. Yesterday as well, we had the Team of the Week upgrade, which is back once again. Team of the Week 1 through 5. I believe it has the exact same requirements of the 84 rated squad with 185 player. Boom, there is that. That's keeping the 84 rated prices up and 85 fodder prices up just a little bit as well. And we also also had the challenge for SBC. Nothing super crazy to talk about there. Now, I just mentioned SBCs and I mentioned fodder. Guys, this is the investment of the hour. High rated fodder. Well, the low rated fodders come back down too, but I just think with the prices on high rated fodder coming back down again, we've got 89s at 22K, 90s at 32 to 33,000 coins. 88s are 16 and a half K sitting on the market lower on bids, especially because of the first 100 K packs tradable. We're going to talk about store packs in a second uh, alongside the market. We had the first 100 K tradable store packs drop in the game yesterday that made fodder drop with supply. And I think this is a really good opportunity. If you want to buy some fodder, we're going closer and closer and closer to that first potential icon player SBC, which would give us the highest rated squad requirements we've seen yet in this game, or at least something that gets us to an 89 rated squad, maybe a 90 is too early, but an 88 and an 89 rated squad, we're not getting far away from those. EA knows that people are getting a lot of coins through the foot champs rewards, fodder and stuff like that. We can't be far from one of those SBCs. So I think stocking up on the 88s and the 89s and the 90s is a smart play at the moment that's my investment tip for you guys today is just stock some fodder i haven't done any of that yet it's not something that i want to go even on a signed on or something crazy it's just something that i would like to stack a few on my transfer list because i know that at some point those cards are going to go up I mean, I hope 89s go to 30K. I hope 90s go to 45,000 coins. I think it can't happen. It's just a waiting game. So if you buy them low and you are fine to wait it out, don't put all your coins into it because you got to have some coins to trade with. But those investments this weekend should be very, very good. Now let's talk about the team that's in packs, Total Rush team number two. You know, it's got some good cards in here. There's some nice upgrades. There's also some that aren't that great. Starting with the really nice upgrades, Lewandowski, the big pace boost. He evidently was not an SBC. That leak was fraudulent that we talked about yesterday on the video. Always tough to try to make sure which ones are legit and which ones are fraudulent. That was ending up being a leak that did not take place uh, as accurate in the game. Decent card for him, though. Nice pace upgrade for sure. Salah with the striker position change and a small upgrade. But when I look at the rest of these cards, Florian Verts, small upgrade over his inform. Messi and Neymar, very expensive cards. Small upgrades, to be fair. Messi got that little bit of a pace boost, but not as big, maybe, as we would have thought. Neymar got a little bit of a boost as well. The coolest thing about this card is... His dynamic image, he's got the cap on, right? He's got plus two pace, three shooting, five physical. And instead of being 40K, like his gold, he's 1.6 mil. Man, it just feels like the amount of coins that are on this market, keeping the high tier of cards so inflated. We talk about the top tier of icons, the really top tier of players and the road to the knockouts, Total Rush Team 1. It's keeping these cards expensive as well. People are willing to pay crazy prices for these new promo cards because there's just that many coins on this market already because of the way Foot Champs and Rivals Rewards give out so much this year. It's kind of making these top tier cards more unaccessible than ever and harder to reach and honestly making people probably want to go open a lot more packs to get coins so they can afford those cards if they want to actually use them and that's kind of the way that EA are trying to set it up this year and we've been noticing that and we've been seeing that and that is exactly the case with how these card prices are being affected they're tough to pack 100% I did pack one yesterday and it's probably my biggest pack troll of the year thus far if you want to see it it's on my Twitter it's also on the second channel where we opened our packs yesterday and got involved with some quick flips you want to check that out linked it up here but uh, yeah, the promo team as well. I think the coolest cards of this promo team are actually on the cheaper tier. This Guerrero card looks unreal. He's got center mid, kind of like Trent Alexander-Arnold, right? Except cheaper. He's got center mid position with Tiki Taka plus insane dribbling and passing. Like insane. He's got roll plus for half winger, false back, attacking wing back. Look at this dribbling. All 90 or above in every single statistic. Passing looks amazing. Defending looks great. 
And then the play styles too. Tiki Taka, whipped pass, first touch flare, technical, intercept, Trivella. What a card. I mean, I kind of wish I had Byron links in my team again so that I could even buy this card out and just put him in my squad. It looks unbelievable as a box-to-box -box center mid, maybe as a more of a playmaking center mid as well, getting forward a bit with that passing and dribbling. He looks insane. Zaire Emery got a huge boost as well in terms of stats. His card looks pretty good. Even Ben Rama doesn't look bad. Rodriguez looks usable to an extent. So I think the lower tier in this team is a little bit interesting, uh, more interesting to me than the top tier just because of the cool uniqueness of some of those cards on the middle to low tier and the stat boost they got. Now you might be notice, you might be noticing some cards are missing. And yes, from this original leak that we had, we're missing Yeri Mina, Marcel Sabitzer, Martins, and Iago Aspas. Those would probably be cards that would be in the mini release coming as soon as today, but probably tomorrow on Sunday, because that is usually or that is when we saw the mini release happen last week for team number one. Now let's talk about these store packs, guys, that EA put out yesterday to try to get people to spend some money on this game. And we have the packs for you section back with the 10 coin pack returning and the split decision pack, which is an 86 plus one of two player pick, all items untradeable, not worth doing with coins whatsoever. I did not open this pack. I do not think it is worth it. Now the 10, the one coin pack, 10 coin pack, whatever it was, I even forget right, what it is right now. I think it's a one coin pack. That is obviously worth opening 100%. Get that one done. Three rare gold players, but the 60K one, no way. Same thing with this 40,000 coin pack. This one is not worth it either. Um, I opened one of these just for science, as we say yesterday. And I did pack Inform Sobus Light, but that's like 15,000 coins back off of a 40,000 coin player pick. Um, it says you have 5% chances of a total rush player. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think this one is really not worth the coins either. It's very tempting because it seems so small. But again, this is one of the packs that really ends up draining a lot of coins off the market because a lot of people end up doing it because it seems so small and innocent, but it adds up. And of course, because it's tradable. It seems so innocent, but people always do it. And it's going to mean prices are um, getting supplied. Cards are getting supplied from that pack since it's tradable, but also people are losing coins because they're spending 45,000 coins. And how many people are actually making more than 40,000 coins back? on that pack there also in the store we had the 45k packs refresh 25ks 50k packs and the 100,000 coin pack jumbo rare players pack for the first time in fc 25 ea added this pack two hours after content and it made the market drop even further and it created incredible opportunities to get on bids for these fodder cards and it should continue throughout the weekend as these tradable packs are in the store get on the bids for fodder guys i think it's a really good opportunity now let's talk market a little bit because the content drop yesterday wasn't a wowing experience right we were not seeing a whole lot of panic selling heading into content and the content itself once it dropped wasn't like omg this is super crazy right so the market it did drop as expected on gold cards but it didn't like drop everything it only kind of dropped the cards that were in packs and getting supplied the rest of the market like total rush cards from team one these are doing pretty good trent is up uh Schwimini is up this de bruyne up in value and a lot of our out of pack special cards uh, like garnacho's 400 000 coins now taking a look at some of the road to the knockouts for sure these prices just continue to go upwards uh cherky is a little bit low at the moment right but Malo Gusto is almost 500k. Dybala is almost 800,000 coins. These out-of-pack special cards just keep rising. Heroes and icons just keep rising as well. If you take a look at the index icons, I mean, yes, it was up like crazy after Thursday. A little bit of a dip heading into content, but then boom, straight back up down a little bit, but now rising again into Saturday as there's gameplay demand and a lot of people are buying cards. Now, this is why we said sell gold cards before yesterday's content, because as you can see here, look at the cards that are down the most. Tonali, very usable budget card that it's in a lot of people's teams. Odin's 42,000 coins. Bremer, 31K. De Bruyne's down. Griezmann is down. Alvarez, De Young, Sam Kerr, even some of the informs and some of the lower tier heroes. Uh, Holland is 98,000 coins. He was just 95K. He's going back up a little bit. I could see some of those cards rebounding back a little bit today. Vandeman's 43. That's down big. Rodrigo's down big. Bellingham is down big. And a lot of gold cards, even if they're more expensive versions. Remember, we said it. Even a guy like Hyun Min Sun, he was 345 yesterday. Now he's 325,000 coins. Virgil van Dijk is under 300K. Part of his price drop could be due to people getting the loan, uh, but not a crazy amount. Even Salah, he's 256. He was 270 before content yesterday. He's out of packs. 
his promo card is in packs. If you want to pick up a couple cards and just hold them for like the next week and sell them next Thursday after Rivals, this would be your perfect card to invest in right here uh, because he's probably going to rise up a decent amount because Salah is super meta. And uh, a lot of people want to get that card. And he's no longer going to be in packs for a week and he's going to have less supply. That's one card I will mention. But a lot of golds are down. Now, they could have some price kickbacks today, you could say, on some of the top tier and more rare ones, higher rated ones that people are going to wake up today on Saturday and say, yo, I got to play some foot champs. I got to go after those rewards. Let me buy a couple players for my team. Maybe a guy like Holland goes from 95,000 coins back up to like 105. I don't think you're going to see crazy price fluctuations here. I'm just thinking you could see something that's like, hmm, I buy this Holland for 95, like I just did right there. Maybe he's 105, 107,000 coins and i'm making a little bit of profit per card that's the type of rise that you could see today a small rise nothing super crazy but potentially profitable on some of those most meta gold cards that people are still using for their teams maybe a jude bellingham maybe a kunde um who else could be involved in that maybe maybe phil foden v mickey vandevin he goes up like almost every single week Mickey Vandeman last Friday dropped down to uh, 59k and then on Saturday went up to like 64 65,000 coins that's not a big fluctuation but you guys see what I'm getting at here right and then what do you see for the rest of the day Saturday prices drop off further I would imagine that's probably going to happen today as well so you're going to have a little bit of a rise in the morning here then you're going to have a drop off, especially on gold cards. I mean, on gold cards, you'll have that drop later into the night tonight on Saturday. But since the content yesterday wasn't that good, what happened was people were able to go back out onto the market and buy some of those players that were out of packs that were players that they wanted for their team. We didn't get the Barcola SBC again. This is crazy, man. I'm really surprised that we have not gotten this one. EA must be changing up their schedule with League One Player of the Month. Barcola was like 455,000 coins at the content drop. I was able to pick one up, sold it at 520. Um, and I picked up a Rodman as well. Just sold her for 425 because of one of the SBC leaks that we're going to talk about in a second. Did not end up making profit off of that. Bought her at 415. But if you bought a Trent, we were talking about this in the stream yesterday. Trent, Dalo, and Shuameni. Those cards had some nice kick ups in price literally right away after the content drop because wow that's a low price for Ronaldo but because people saw um, how the content wasn't that great and then they just straight went back to the market to buy cards meta cards for teams that they were like yeah I would rather have this guy uh, in my team than any of the new content pieces that are out so that's kind of why some of the out of packs cards from Rush like Trent specifically went up Griezmann went up I think the young went up a little bit I don't know if those card prices are going to last a whole lot but they should continue to be up a little bit again today these cards are the ones that are up the most the road to the knockout players road to the knockouts team one team two i think there's still opportunity here to pick up a few of these cards loftus cheek 295 he goes to like 310 all the time so i think if you get this guy like um 290 i think that's a decent buy price he could go up to like 320 330 but this is kind of last call for any of these road to the knockouts that you maybe would be interested in because they're getting closer to an upgrade this week specifically the ones that are like on the verge of getting that third win for the men's cards it is three wins for them to get an upgrade the first upgrade and uh that means that you know a lot of these teams who have won two of their first three are going to be on the cusp like leverkusen they have a pretty easy matchup um who else has a uh, i think brant and dortmund have two wins but they're playing madrid so go through the tracker and look through those cards you can maybe figure out some buys there but the out of packs market is doing very well prices are holding very solid there especially on those road to the knockout cards and that is why some of them went up yesterday is because the rest of the content with the new cards wasn't good enough to make prices drop in some of those other areas. But personally, I won't be trading a ton today. I'll be watching the market for sure, maybe trying a quick flip here or there, but it'll be mostly on the out of packs rare cards. And it's just a good day to maybe get on some bids for fodder. If you want a risky tr uh, flip with one of these brand new promo cards, um, there have been some decent fluctuations like Salah was 1.6. Messi was 1.9 and he went up to like 2.3. He's back down to 1.9 right now. I did buy two Zyre Emery's for 420 and sold them for four. Uh, um, 60 almost. So there's a decent flip there, but it's still really risky to flip these cards. And I do believe that even the impacts promo cards will be dropping today as well. So I'm going to be focusing on out of packs, heroes, and icons and waiting for today's content on Saturday, which maybe will give us an SBC that might link to players that you guys already have in your teams. Let's talk about this now, guys. Let's talk about the official stats 
for Crystal Dunn. Foot Sheriff posted this card yesterday. It said, coming as an SBC soon. Crystal Dunn. She was already leaked, but now we have the official stats. My goodness. That is a Hullet Gang card with 90 pace. Obviously, she's five foot one in game, and I would have to imagine that she's going to be super rapid with 87 dribbling, 90 pace. She's going to be all over the place in the midfield. Her gold card stats look pretty good from an in-game stat category standpoint, and I have to imagine that if she were to get a playstyle plus or even just a couple of good playstyles added to her card, that this SBC at the right value could serve as an incredible link up to the Alex Morgan that is out, the Swanson that is out. If you guys want to use those cards or if you were thinking about doing one or two of these, but you needed one more link, this might be that today. So it's obviously going to come down to the price. And I know a lot of people, because of the links, will just be not wanting to do it regardless. And I totally understand that because if you're doing a Dunn, if you're doing a Morgan, if you're doing a Swanson, you kind of have to you kind of have to get at least two of the three done to get some chemistry in there. But that is one thing to watch out for because those USA links like Rodman, like Sophia Smith, those will probably rise in price today heading into the content drop just because of that leak right there. I would be a little bit careful with Julie Foudy, the icon, who is a USA women's icon, just because, you know, that Crystal Dunn could be like a replacement maybe for her. Not saying it will be, but this card for Rodman, I just sold it. I wanted to be out of the hype. I didn't want to have to mess around with it at all. But that Dunn SBC could be pretty good. We'll have to see if it drops today because it is leaked stats. We still have the DiLorenzo right back SBC that's floating around out there as well as a leak. Now, other content we could see today, Evo, EA. I mean, hey, this we or whatever it's called, the gold, not we play possession. That's the, the Evo that was right there in front of me. The goal frenzy. This sounds like it could be a striker evolution. Imagine they give us a striker Evo that gives some shooting play styles. Maybe it's power shot. We've already had a power shot plus evolution. Maybe they give us a regular power shot for like a cheap free Evo and finesse shot base play style. Like something that allows up us to upgrade a striker. That could be really, really exciting. It just sounds like goal frenzy. It's got to include something with a striker, with shooting upgrades and something like that. If they drop an Evo today, I wouldn't be surprised. Since we didn't get one yesterday, I, I would be more surprised if we didn't get one today, especially if we didn't get one that was correlated to the rush objective and to the new rush mode. So I'll be watching out for that as well today. But honestly, guys, remember last week, Saturday was a really, really quiet day. Really quiet. Like all we had was the Saudi squad foundations and we had the new rush objective because that did not drop until saturday of last week i think it's going to be a quiet day again today so get those foot champs games in get those fodder bids going and if you want to flip on the market a little bit or maybe if you want to buy a team i think the gold cards have dropped off enough today that if you want to splash the cash on some players for your team i think that's probably okay i don't think you would make a ton of coins on it but once again we're getting to that stage in the week where well we'll be looking towards to tonight saturday night into tomorrow on sunday as potential opportunity to pick up maybe some cards that you would like for your team and in theory those cards according to the trends should continue to slowly rise into the week we're talking into monday into tuesday and ultimately until wednesday of next week where we will probably see prices drop once again like what they do every single week we'll be looking towards that sort of trend again and we're kind of getting to that low point where we've seen the gold cards drop off like we wanted them to see so if you want to pick something up for your team Time to watch the market for that and maybe splash the cash to play those weekend league games today. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to check out the second channel. Post it up again right here. See our insane pack pull from yesterday. It was almost insane, but it quite was not. That's there, guys, if you want to check it out. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been late for the count. See you there. Peace out.